What's going on everyone, Rich Lee here, and today I'm taking a look at Lionel Messi's road to retirement in FIFA 17 career mode. Now, if you're already subscribed to the channel, then you may well have watched that last video that I put out where I switched Messi and Ronaldo in career mode. If you didn't catch that video, then I'll leave a link in the description to it so that you can watch it right now, and if the reason that you didn't catch it was because you're not already subscribed to me, then... What on earth are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button right now and that really would be massively appreciated. Also, if you do go on to enjoy this video, please do leave it a like. Anyway though, so in today's video, it follows on from that last video that I put out. I simmed forward five seasons, no six seasons, sorry, in that video. I don't know why I said five, definitely six. Where I got the five from though is that I simmed forward another five seasons for this video to the point where Messi has now decided to call it a day. So, yeah, Messi's retiring from football, and let's take a look at 11 seasons of deterioration. The years definitely took their toll on Messi, and in the end, he finished up with one rated physical stats. Pretty ridiculous, but yeah, let's take a look at all 11 seasons, and see where it all went wrong for Lionel Messi. Starting out with season one then, and the deterioration process had already begun. He kept his 93 rating come the end of the season, but he did lose six agility, and the warning signs were definitely there that the future was not going to be kind to the Argentinian. And by the end of the second season, he'd lost another six agility and dropped down to a 92 rating. The decline wasn't drastic at this point, but... Yeah, as I say, he did lose 12 agility in two seasons and dropped down to a 92. The third season wasn't at all kind to Messi and he fell away to a 90 rating. His physical stats started dropping off massively and he also lost some ground technically as well. In the fourth season, his physical attributes continued to plummet and he ended up at an 88 rating. And in the fifth season, his technical stats were taking a pretty hard hit as well as his physical attributes, and he dropped down three ratings to an 85. A trend that continued in season six as well, as he went down from an 85 to an 81 rating throughout the course of the season. Messi fell down by another four ratings in season seven, with his physical stats continuing to tank, and his finishing dropping down by eight. Season eight was even less kind to Messi, and this time he dropped down by five ratings. Whilst in season nine, he dropped down by a further four ratings, and some of his physical stats were coming dangerously close to falling into the single digits. Something that then happened in season 10, as he dropped down by five more ratings, and his acceleration, sprint speed, and agility all drop below 10. So that brings us to season 11 then, and Messi's road to retirement is now complete. He's just about to turn 40, and he's 57 rated, with one acceleration, one sprint speed, and one agility as well. Still got decent balance and reactions, but only 56 finishing, and yeah, as I say, one rated physical stats. Really, I know he's about to turn 40, but that is ridiculous. Anyway though, he played 11 games throughout the course of the season, got a goal and an assist and a 6.9 average rating. For a 57 rated player, that is pretty good going to be honest. He is retiring at the end of the season and I'm curious to get into a game with him. I want to test out those one rated stats and this could be quite interesting. And this is the team that I've got Messi playing in. It's packed full of regens. We've got the Luis Suarez regen playing up front alongside Ibra's regen. Cristiano Ronaldo's regen in there as well. Philip Lahm and also this guy's a regen as well, Denise. He's a Brazilian centre-back. I'm not entirely sure whose regen he is, but looks absolutely incredible anyway. Six foot two, three star weak foot, two star skills. Yeah, some of those players look absolutely insane, to be honest. And then, of course, we've got Messi. I'm going to be feeding the ball to him as often as possible. I want to see just how bad that one agility and pace truly is. Anyway, though, it's time for the final game of the season. We're taking on Manchester City in the Champions League final. Let's get into it and let's see what 57 rated Lionel Messi is made of. 
Here we go then, Messi's on the ball, look at him go, look at him turn, he's so quick. Okay, that was the slowest turn of all time, and look at him go, he's been fouled. What are they playing at? Let's give the ball to Messi once again, let's watch him go. Oh, look at that, he's past his man. Ah, uh, not really. Here he is again, boys. He plays that across to Luis Suarez's regen, and he's on the attack. What is Messi doing? Why is he so far back? Here you go, Messi. Do something brilliant here. He's taking on his man. Goes past him. Look at him go. He's not bad, is he? He's got another chance there. Makes the tackle. And yeah, for a player of 57 rated with one rated physical stats, Messi is pretty decent, to be honest. Let's play that to him. Oh, that was unlucky. Oh, no, they're through on goal. They're going to score. No, they're not. What on earth was that finish? That was absolutely shocking. Should have buried it, and yet he scoops it wide. Ronaldo's back on the ball again now then, plays that to Deli Alley. He searches for Messi, he goes past his man, he goes for goal, and yeah, not quite as good as he used to be. Oh, here we go, Ibra's regen's on the ball, he's quite small, not really like the big man used to be, but there you go, he finds Ronaldo, who turns that inside. He moves it across to Suarez, his regen, who finds Messi, he's running through on goal, and he's scored. He's 57 rated. And he scored in the Champions League final. Didn't look like he had 57 finishing or whatever it was there. Really nice bit of play there from Messi. He ran through on goal. He tucks it into the corner of the net. And yeah, Messi's back on the ball again now then. Look at him go with his one pace and one agility. He's going to pick out Ronaldo there. Nice little ball. Ronaldo moves his way through. Can we get a second goal here? We played that to the Ibra regen. And he's blazed it. And at halftime, Messi has already scored a goal. And he's on a 7.8 rating. He's absolutely knackered though, bless him. He's nearly 40 years old. And he just can't hack it anymore. Still though, he's playing on for the second half. He's a trooper. Messi's on the ball again now then, working his way out wide slowly. Turns his way inside, plays that across to Asensio who came on at half time. Deli Alley's on it now, plays that forward for the Ibra regen. Not quite who I wanted to pass it to, but there you go, never mind. Here comes Messi then once again, showing good strength there. I don't know what's come over Messi, but oh god, he's so slow. He's going to move that on to the Suarez regen and he's won us a throw in as he... Yeah, just about. Let's throw the ball into Messi and he can work his magic once again or lose it. That works for me too, Messi. And he's not got the pace to catch his player, but it's all right. The pass there was absolutely shocking and we've won the ball back. Dembele's on the attack now then. Plays that forward to Ibra's regen. Messi's in the middle. I wanted to play it to him, but that was a terrible pass. Messi's back on the ball then. Plays that to Deli Alley. He moves it down the line to Usmane Dembele. And we've got a chance for a second goal here. Dembele cuts that inside. Plays that across. And what on earth happened there? Why is Messi still in centre mid as well? I bet he was running full pout and still couldn't get further than the halfway line. Come on, Messi, you can run. There you go. Play it out wide. In fact, he's played it to Ibra's regen. He's waiting for Messi to make that run. Hit it, Messi. Oh, that was a beautiful strike, actually. Decent save there from Ariola, And Messi could easily have had a second goal. Messi's on the ball again now then. Beautiful pass there to Dembele. And finally, we might get a second goal here. He goes down in the box and that is a penalty. And you know who's going to take this one. I'm not very good at penalties, though. So this one could go anywhere. Let's hope for the best, though. And it's 2-0. Messi scores both goals in the Champions League final. He's nearly 40 years old and... He's still absolutely destroying it in the Champions League. Messi is brilliant. He's an old man at this point, but it just doesn't matter. He's still Messi, he's still quality, and he's picked up two goals in the Champions League final. Look at that for a penalty. And that was pretty much the last kick of the game. Messi has scored two goals in the Champions League final, just shy of his 40th birthday, and... I should have made him the captain so that he could lift the trophy, but never mind. He's won the Champions League. He's been the star player in the Champions League final. And Real Madrid have won the Champions League once again. And he might be retiring at the end of the season, but Lionel Messi has just been named the man of the match in the Champions League final. He scored two goals. He was brilliant throughout. Incredibly slow, but... Yeah, that was to be expected, even with one pace and one agility. Messi has scored twice, won us the Champions League final, and what a way for him to bow out. To be honest though, for a player of Messi's class and quality, I wouldn't expect anything less. And I've simmed forward now to the point where Messi just turned 40, and as you can see there, 
After absolutely smashing it in the Champions League final, Messi picked up a 7.0 average rating for the season, which for a 57 rated player of 40 years old is pretty brilliant. Despite having one pace and one agility, in that Champions League final he dominated, he scored two goals and, to be honest, I quite enjoyed using him. He might have one rated physical stats, but he's still got class, he's still got quality, and he's still Lionel Messi. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, smash that like button if you have done, and I'll catch you again next time.